All right, this is a tutorial on how to uh, take a stock Super Cub, all fresh parts, and uh, do modifications to strengthen the battery box, landing gear, the cradle for the, uh, the wing saddle so it doesn't crush, and then we're going to add ailerons to the wings and uh, upgrade electronics uh, to a DX6i system spectrum. Uh, with all new servos, and then we're going to cover the plane in econo coat. So, uh, first thing we'll want to do is we want to cut um, these pieces of foam out. I have a hot knife that I use to cut these out. I'll show you with in a second. And we'll be going strips of wood in there, resecuring the uh, battery box in there, and then we'll be gluing the piece of wood onto the uh, the back of the saddle to strengthen that. This is what I use to uh, cut foam with. It's just a uh, it's an old soldering gun that I had, and then I just uh, built a, a little cutting blade. This will cut through the foam. And I have this blade uh, cut to the size that will cut this out for uh, it's a um, popsicle stick. These work great, nice hard wood. And uh, what we'll do is we'll cut the pieces out for the uh, for the uh, battery box to mount into and we'll epoxy those in there. It makes it very strong. I've done it to several Super Cub upgrades and I have yet to ever pull out the battery box or uh, rip out the landing gear. And it's as simple as letting this heat up for a second and stick it down in there. And this does a great job at uh, cutting the uh, foam. You can also use an X-Acto knife, works great too. just need to cut out a channel. And what this does is it, uh, it allows the, uh, as you can see I've cut the channel out, and it allows the uh, popsicle stick to rest down in there flush, so when you put the cover back over for the battery box, it, it sits back down in its, uh, in its opening. It doesn't raise above it. Just a, a lot more professional job and you really don't even have to do this you can just use an exacto knife or uh, you can just glue it right on there if you don't care if the uh, battery box lid sticks up a little bit uh, I just like doing this because when we cover the plane uh, the covering will rest flat against it and uh, just looks a lot more professional so there's those next thing we'll do is we'll cut the popsicle stick down to size it in there. I just use a flat sided uh, pair of dikes. Cut it off. Take a measure. Uh, you can see I don't uh, I don't do any fancy measuring here. It's just a simple simple little cut. And once you get it down in there, then I just uh, take a piece of sandpaper and uh, Take off the uh, rough edges. And that should just fit right down in there. Just like that. And it's nice and flush. So you can see, nice and flush down in there. Next thing we'll do now is we'll epoxy these two in. And uh, then we'll put on the, uh, the cover for the battery box. I'll drill new holes and screw it down in there along with the battery box itself and I tell you what it's it's so rigid unless you get into a serious crash uh, chances are you'll destroy the plane before you pull this out next thing we're going to do is uh, mix up some five minute epoxy here this isn't uh, too difficult the only thing with five minute epoxy is is uh, it sets up it'll start to harden quicker than five minutes so you need to work fairly quick. Uh, just do a nice job at mixing it up. You know, I've heard people say that they worry about the uh, uh, epoxy interacting with the uh, Z foam. It doesn't interact at all. It'll get hot, but not hot enough to melt it. As you can see, spread it on there literally. And also get into the fuselage there. And then I'll show you a trick on how to clean the epoxy off and it leaves no residue and you don't use harsh chemicals 
Let's see, you got a nice even even bead, bead of epoxy. If it comes around out all the edges, that means you got it in there nice and good. You want to fill the voids. And let's do this other piece. And you can tell when the epoxy starts to set up, it'll start getting a little sticky. It's not as uh, fluid. And at that point, you pretty much want to stop using it. It's already starting to cook, and you don't. Uh, it's already starting to lose its strength. If you try to uh, continue to use it, it'll get hard very quick. If you mix up a huge batch of epoxy at one time, um, it'll actually cook quicker. It'll 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 set up uh, much quicker. And especially down here, if it's thicker than you know an eighth of an inch, chances are you're going to have it. Uh, you're going to have it set up on you in a matter of a minute or two, and it'll really get hot. So you want to, if you're going to mix up a bunch, spread it out because uh, it'll just heat up so quick on you. It'll it'll start cooking. And place this one in here. And again, you can see. Oh, I doubt if you can see how well see this well but we got a nice even coating of epoxy in there get it lined up that's all there is for that these are in next thing we'll do is we'll clean the excess epoxy off and the best thing I found to use is uh, just simple rubbing alcohol this will clean all the epoxy off. It leaves no residue, no harsh chemicals. It won't interact with the foam. Get your fingers nice and clean so you're not getting your uh, plane all covered in epoxy. And just start uh, start wiping it clean. Just get off the excess. You don't have to make it pretty because this will all be covered in the Econo coat. But uh, you want to keep it, you know, as clean as possible. And that's all I do. Now I'll let that set up. And as soon as we're done, as soon as this is done setting up, we'll uh, we'll take the uh, take the battery box cover and we'll drill the holes, screw it down, and that'll be done and ready for covering. While the plane's setting up, there's a couple things we need to do to uh, prep the uh, cover for the battery box. There's a uh, little uh, centering spikes that they push down into the foam just kind of hold in place. The first thing I do is I cut these off. There's no need for them. Once those are gone, if they're sticking up just a tiny little bit, we'll go back, file them down, sand them down so it rests flush. The other thing is, is this is the back of the battery box. Uh, this is where the latch is for the hatch that swings in place to lock the hatch in place. Well, there's two screw holes for the strut mounts for the wings. Now, I don't use those. Um, it's a real pain to try and get the plane wing on and off with those. I, instead, I build a little um, piece of uh, piano wire and I hook them both together and that works fine. But on the back side, it's raised. And this is right where the piece of wood rests. And we're actually going to use these two holes in the back to mount it to the pieces of wood. So I just, again, take my flat-sided channel locks my uh, flat sided dikes and uh, I just remove them. There's no, no need to have them. Cut those off and there they'll stick, they'll, they're going to stick up a little bit. You'll have to go back and probably sand them down a little bit. But that's all you need to do to get that prepped. Then the next thing we'll do once this epoxy sets up is we'll set it on there, center it, drill the holes, and we'll also need to drill a bigger hole for this piece, as you can see, it sticks, it's raised up, and again, that's for the latch. We'll drill a hole out big enough for that to fall down through the piece of wood because that won't be, uh, it won't be screwed into the wood. But we'll uh, use these two back holes on the uh, wood in the back. Then we'll drill three holes across the front for three screws to uh, really secure the uh, the landing gear.